George, welcome, first of all, to my home. Uh, you're right, this is the third time that we're working with you and Bahrain this month on the Independence Day uh, edition of the magazine. I want to thank you for uh, for promoting this initiative. Uh, it's something we're very proud to be involved in and uh, it's especially nice to be with you here in our home. And you can see the backdrop is one of your and my favorite things, a beautiful painting showing jazz in New Orleans. And we've got a little display here. And uh, you know, I, I will refer to it in just a moment, but you and I both know that jazz is uh, a unique American art form and a fabulous export product as well. Now getting to your question about the state of U.S. Bahrain relations, I say we are at, absolutely we are at a high point and we are going from strength to strength. Uh, the past 12 months since we last did uh, this interview, there have been some very, very significant developments. Most importantly, in September of last year, His Royal Highness, uh, Crown Prince and Prime Minister Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa came to Washington and along with Secretary of State Antony Blinken, signed the most exquisite security agreement the United States has with any country in this region. It's the Comprehensive Security Integration and Prosperity Agreement, or CSIPA. And really what it did is it um, formalized the kind of strategic and security arrangements we already had in place, but now we've made commitments on paper to one another. But in addition to the military and security aspects, there are two other things in that agreement. First of all, trade and investment, and secondly is science and emerging technology. Our two governments and our two private sectors are looking forward to building out those pillars. Of course, we already have the free trade agreement, which has been in place now for 20 years, but we're always looking to do better. And we think uh, the agreement, CESIPA, will allow us new opportunities to expand our commercial relationship. And then in the science and emerging technology realm, we want to get our technology companies working together and finding new applications for technologies, frankly, that you and I are not going to be able to anticipate. 12 months from now, there's going to be entirely new items out there. We want our companies, our governments, our research institutions, and our universities to be working together. And then because you asked more broadly about the uh, state of relations, I want to mention, of course, our people-to-people -people ties. Again, that gets back to the jazz that we discussed. Uh, about a year and a half ago, we brought out a New Orleans uh, brass band to play here in Bahrain. And for the Spring of Culture this year, we brought out a uh, jazz group from New York called Jazz House and they uh, did some master classes, and they also played at uh, the Jazz Fest celebration. But music is just one area where we're working together. Uh, we are working on media affairs, uh, technology, um, entrepreneurship, other artistic outlets, and the people-to-people -people ties that we develop through these activities, frankly, are what are gonna last for uh, an enduring way. Uh, people know one another, they trust one another, they want to collaborate with one another. Look, there is an American Chamber of Commerce in Bahrain. It's an organization we work with very closely. Likewise, there is a U.S. Chamber of Commerce in Washington and, and the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry here. We are going to be looking for new ways to work together to expand our trade and investment relations. Bahrain has this fabulous idea of the U.S. trade zone. We're looking to get American investors into that area to take advantage of its uh, really key location in terms of the transportation nodes and uh, logistic processes in the region. 
And then on the, uh, the technology realm, uh, again, it's hard to anticipate exactly what we'll be doing, but we already have a number of projects underway. For example, Citi, the new name of Citibank, has pledged to employ up to 1,000 Bahraini coders in their operations. Uh, they're working closely with Tam Keen on that. It's a spectacular program. Amazon Web Services is here, and we also hope to bring in additional American technology companies so they can partner with their Bahraini uh, counterparts and learn from one another.